Let's let our hands rest on the legs. You can just let the palms face down. And you can close the eyes. And let your breath come down into your belly. Maybe even down into the pelvis. And as you breathe down low, you can hold Chris in your heart. Maybe lifting the heart slightly, lengthening up through the crown. And let's bring our palms together at heart center. gazing at your third eye. And inhale with me. Exhale all the way out. And deep inhale. And complete exhale. And inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Te. suspend this breath. Exhale, release the hands back down to the legs. And let's come into long deep breathing together. So as you inhale, fill your belly chamber first, then the rib cage and then the chest. And as you exhale, let your breath come back the way it came. So releasing the breath from the chest, then the ribs, then the belly. Just nice, smooth inhales and exhales. And allow there to be a little bit of space at the top of the inhale 
in the bottom of the exhale. So you're not rushing. You have all the time in the world. And I'd like to invite our beloved Bill into our hearts as well. Wishing him positivity and the most perfect day today. Maybe Chris can watch over him. So let's just breathe into our people. Picture us all in a circle. And you can picture Chris and Bill in the center and you can add anyone in there that you want, okay? So really see us in that circle together. We're right here. And as we breathe, we breathe for these people. I'm going to add in Jill. I'm going to add in Hollis, Chris's husband. You can add in anyone that you want. Just breathe. And you can imagine them breathing with us. And begin to feel all of us breathing together. So we might not be at the exact same pace, but we're creating a rhythm together. We're creating a sound vibration nod together. And this sacred breath will carry us through. Begin to circle your belly to the left. You get to decide your pace. And I invite you to close the eyes here if they're not already closed. And allow yourself to dive inward. You can accept every feeling of this movement. And accept every feeling that might be emotionally present. And smoothly reverse the direction.
10 seconds. Inhale to center. Hold the breath, lift your pelvic floor. And now exhale and send this energy that you've created into the center of the circle. And deep inhale. And exhale. And feel the perimeter of the circle, all of us together. Bring the hands to the fronts of the shins. Inhale as you reach the heart forward. Exhale as you flex it back. We're going to do the full three minutes here. So feel free to start slow and just feel this. What's happening? How does the spine feel? You might keep it small at first. And let's add the mantra Sat Nam. So inhaling Sat, exhaling Nam. You can invite the vibration of this mantra to lift you, carry you. Good, you've done one minute. Notice if the spine feels any different than when you first started. Is your range of movement different? You can always take a break and just picture it and come back in when you're ready. Last minute, let's speed it up a little bit. Maybe let your breath become a little bit more powerful. Last 15 seconds, go as fast as you can. Inhale, sitting tall. Gather all your energy, lift more bund, hold the breath. Inhale even more. Exhale, send it to everyone in the circle. Deep inhale. 
and exhale. Bring the legs out in front of you. Bend your right knee out to the side, bringing the sole of the right foot to your inner thigh. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, bowing over this left leg. Let your hands rest on the shin, ankle, or holding on to the big toe. Let your whole body fold, your head relaxes. And come back to your long, deep breathing, that slow breath with space, time. Last 15 seconds, can you relax the jaw? Relax the leg. Ride your inhale up. Exhale, sitting and release the leg. Coming to the other side. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, we're folding straight forward over this right leg. Find that spot where you're going to hold on and complete the bow by letting your head relax over the leg. Inhaling set, exhaling long. Stay in the pose and inhale deeply. Lifting will bond, invite that energy all the way up the spine through the crown. Exhale to sit up. Release both legs out long and come onto your back. Shavasana pose. 30 seconds. 
Once you come in, see if you can let everything go and really drop in. How quickly can you drop in? And in our circle now, I'd like you to picture us head to toe. So instead of picturing us with all of our feet towards the center or all of our heads towards the center, picture us creating a circle from head to toe all the way around. So there's this continuous energy that's circulating Now bring your feet to the ground in front of each sitting bone. Stretch the arms up over the head. Interlace the fingers and place them like a basket underneath the head and neck. Inhale to a count of six, imagining your breath coming in through the navel point. When you're ready, exhale to a count of six as you lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off the ground. Your exhale is releasing through that navel point. Inhaling to a count of six as you slowly go down. Exhaling to a count of six as you slowly roll up. Keep seeing your breath coming in and out through the navel. Let this be your last one. The next time that you inhale and your head releases down to the earth, let it relax completely. Let your arms release by the sides and hold your next inhale for a moment. Hug the knees into the chest. Tuck your nose towards the knees. 
If you'd like to, you can always tuck the hands underneath the knees to rock up and down a couple times just to come up to see. Good, and then flip around so that you're on your hands and your knees in tabletop. Spread your fingers wide so you distribute all the weight in your hands. And make sure that your center of your hand is right underneath your shoulder. If your hands are too far forward, it puts pressure on the wrist. And if they're too far back, it puts an awkward pressure on the hand and the inside of the wrist. Your knees are slightly separated underneath each hip bone, but then bring the heels of your feet to touch. Good, so knees are slightly separated and your heels are slightly touching. And Lynn, since you might be on slightly harder ground, just remember that you can always do this under your knees. With your mat, you kind of like fold it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Keep the heels together. And now close the eyelids and gaze at your third eye center. Imagine that you have the light of a star shining from your third eye. And it shines inward and outward. Inhale as you shine this light up towards the sky and your tailbone reaches up, hollowing out the back. Exhale, starting with the tailbone, tucking, round your back, tuck the chin, and this light shines down or even towards your navel point. Continue, inhale into cow pose. Exhale into cat. Let your whole body get into it. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Just feel it, breathe it. And your pace might change over time. Start to let it become a very fluid movement. So not looking for a destination in the movement, but letting it be one continuous movement. Fifteen seconds. Inhale into cow pose, lengthening the spine, lift more bun. On your exhale, relax in any shape. And let your energy circulate through the circle all the way around the edges and into the center. And coming out, 
Releasing your sitting bones to the ground and let your legs come out in front of you again. Bend your right knee up. You can stay right here. We're going to twist. Or if it's comfortable, take this right foot across your left leg and you can hold on to it here. Hold on to the knee with your left hand. Good, and now let's reach the right arm up to the sky. Inhale with me, get tall. Exhale, as you twist to the right, reach your right arm back behind you and let your fingertips come to the ground just behind your tailbone. Press down through your sitting bones and your hand to lengthen as you twist to the right. See if you can deepen your breath all the way down into the pelvis. And see if you can slow the breath down. Inhale, slowly unwind. Switching sides. Each side might feel different. So again, just remember that you have this option to have the foot right in front of your sitting bone. And then if it's comfortable, cross it over. Inhale with me, reach that left arm up, your whole rib cage gets higher. Exhale, reach it back and down. Press your fingertips into the ground. Press down through your sitting bones. Let your chin reach towards that left shoulder. See how low and slow you can breathe. Stay in the pose and inhale deeply. Lifting energy up the spine. Slowly exhale, unwinding. Let your energy circulate through the circle. Let's inhale together through the nose. Exhale with a sigh. Again. And one more. Fold the legs in. And you can sit on your cushion or blanket again, as we'll be here for the next few poses. Great. 
This one is for the heart. Bring your left hand in front of your chest and then turn it so that it's facing away. And then grip the hand with your right. So we're kind of, this is called bear grip and the fingers just hold on to each other. Now keep this in front of your heart center. There's a tendency for it to try to move up. And this hand spot is your access point. And we're going to lift the left elbow up and the right elbow down as we inhale. And then switch as you exhale. Good, keep going. Good, beautiful. Keep it going, find your rhythm. Ten seconds. Inhale deeply. Hold the breath and try to pull the hands apart. Inhale even more. Pull. Exhale, let it go. Let your heart open. Scan your spine from the tailbone up through the crown. There is energy flowing up and down the spine. There is light in the spine. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up, but your neck stays tall. Exhale, let them drop. Good, and let's do that rapidly. Ten seconds, see how fast you can go. Inhale, shrug them up, squeeze your whole spine. Exhale, let them down. Big circles with the shoulders. Roll them forward and up and then back and down.
And let the shoulders release back and down. Heart slightly lifts. Inhale, turn your head to the left. Exhale, turn it to the right. Satnam. This is the finishing touch of our Kriya. Inhale your head to center. Lifting more band. Our Kriya is complete. Exhale. You can sit tall but also have a sense of rest here. Just noticing your body, any sensations, accepting everything and holding space for each other. Allow your love to circulate. And as you send your love also open to receiving. Inhale with me. Exhale. Inhale light. Exhale light. Inhale light. And exhale that light. Come lying down onto your back in Shavasana. I will lay with you today.
Laying down on your back, again, picture us head to toe. And picture all of us being held, held in a protective light, held in healing energy, held in perfection. And you get to relax as we're held here.
begin to deepen your breath. And you can come out in your own time. And I'll sing us the long time sun as you do that. community is one thing that makes it possible for us to practice together. The fact that these teachings have been passed down to us makes it possible to practice together. And you, you make it possible for us to practice together. So honoring your individuality and then also honoring our connectivity 
and our connectivity expands beyond just this life. It's remembering our connection beyond time and beyond this physical space. Sadna. Thank you, Liza. Thank you.